Greetings from Johannesburg. I'm Richard Cyril and Todd. Let's take a look at our top stories. Zimbabwean wildlife officials are pressing ahead with plans to stock big game on a farm linked to Grace Mugabe. And February elections could be the cause of the ongoing attacks by Boko Haram in northeast Nigeria. And flooding claims nearly 50 lives in Malawi, and there's no end in sight to the torrential rain. Welcome to ENCA News. As always, great to have you with us. Let's take a look at our top story. And we'll start in Zimbabwe, where over 900 Zimbabwean villagers who this week won a court order to stay on a farm linked to Forest Lady Grace Mugabe. Now they face a bigger threat as dangerous game are soon to be released onto the Manzu farm where they are staying. The move comes just when the villagers thought they will go. Well, the U.S. says the surge in Boko Haram attacks in Nigeria may be linked to upcoming elections. This comes as Abuja says it needs more than surveillance and advice from countries like the U.S. in the fight against the militants. Cameroon has been bolstering security along its border with Nigeria. The well, there has been yet another attack outside a mosque in northeastern Nigeria. Two people have been killed and 14 others injured when a man detonated an explosive vest he was wearing on Tuesday afternoon. Now, witnesses say the attack was carried out by a lone man outside the busy mosque in Gombe. In the past few days, Nigerian extremist Boko Haram has used female bombers to carry out suicide missions in the region. On Saturday, a 10-year-old girl was used to blow up people in a market in Madugri. There was just a loud explosion. Somebody came with... Well, in Nigeria, staying in Nigeria rather, presidential aspirant and former military ruler Muhammadu Buhari is campaigning for votes in the south of the country as the presidential candidate of the newly formed All Progressive Congress. He will be the main challenger to President Goodluck Jonathan next month. Having been defeated in the last three elections, his party is hoping that his fourth time will be a charm. Let's see. He hails from Nigeria's Muslim North. He's and that is your wrap for business. We have your sports news heading your way after the break. But for now, let's check in at our weather center with Luis Fernandez for the latest continental forecast. Welcome back. Let's talk a bit of football. Bafana Bafana look ready. Yes, they do. To take on the continent's best teams in the African Cup of Nations. South Africa won 3-0. Can you believe it? Against Mali in a friendly in Libreville, Gabon. Now Bafana, Bafana Bafana will now travel to Equatorial Guinea. And their opening match is against Algeria on Monday. All right, enough said. Let's take a look at other sports news making headlines. African footballing body CAF are adamant that... It well, back to football. The Ivory Coast have a lot to prove at AFCON 2015. The elephants are known for choking at tournaments. Will they choke this time around? Well, Coach Hervé Renard is under no illusion how tough winning the cup will be for his chargers. Let's take a look. The elephants have left their fans disappointed in many tournaments. Well, that will do it for sports for the team. I'm Richard Searle and Ta saying thank you so much for watching. And we'll be right back here same time tomorrow. Till then, take care.